Hello friends, my name is Chaitanya Nikam. Today we are going to discuss about definition of business communication and process of communication. First, we will start off with definition of business communication. Communication is the process of passing information and understanding from one person to another. It is the process of imparting ideas and making oneself understood by others. Here, we can say that communication is at least two members to communication. Communication is an exchange of facts, ideas, opinion, or emotions by two or more person. Then, process of communication. First is, there are seven process of communication. First is sender. Second is encoding. Third, message. Fourth, channel. Five, receiver. Six, decoding. Seven, feedback. First, sender. The sender of the communicator is the person who initiates the conversation and has conceptualized the idea that he intends to convey it to others. Second, encoding. The senders begin with the encoding process wherein he uses certain words or nonverbal methods such as symbols, signs, body gestures, etc. To translate the information into a message, the sender knowledge, skills, perceptions, background, complete, complete scenes, etc. has a great impact on the success of the message. Third, message. Once the encoding is finished, the sender gets the message that he intends to convey. The message can be written oral, symbolic or non-verbal such as body, gestures, silence, signs, signs, sounds, etc. or any other single that triggers the response of a receiver. Fourth, channel. The sender chooses the medium through which he wants to convey he, his message to the recipients. It must be selected carefully in order to make the message effective and correctly interpreted by the recipient. The choice of medium depends on the interpersonal relationship between the senders and the receiver and also the urgency of the message being sent. Oral, virtual, return, sound, gesture, etc. are some of the commonly used communication mediums. 5. Receiver The receiver is the person for whom the message is intended or targeted. He tries to come phrased in the best possible manner such that the communication objective is attained. The degree to which the receiver 
decodes the message depends on his knowledge of the subject matter experience trust and relationship with the sender 6 decoding here the receiver interprets the sender message the tries to understand it in the best possible manner an effective communication occurs only if the receiver understand the message in exactly the same way as it was independent by the sender seven feedback the feedback is the final step of the process that ensure the receiver has received the message and interpreted the convey the uh, the correct interpreted it correctly as it was independent by the sender it increase the effectiveness of the communication as it permits the senders to know the efficiency of his message the response of the receiver can be verbal or non verbal thank you